What's up and welcome to Shanghai, China. My name is Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today we are taking you on the ultimate Chinese breakfast street food tour. We have partnered up with our friends from Lost Plate Food Tours. They are offering some amazing Chinese street food tours across China and today we are in a really authentic neighborhood here in Shanghai and we are going to be doing a lot of eating. I'm super hungry so let's go. Oh, he, he bakes it after. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, we have our first breakfast snack today and this looks really, really cool. We are at a cool spot. Um, this is a tong yo bing, which is a savory pancake that has been stuffed with an egg and with beef and lots of scallions and then he's frying it in pig lard. So they're also making a ton of other things here. So they've got uh, some fresh noodles hanging up, drying on the side and then he's frying these savory pancakes on top of a hot griddle. After he's done frying them, he actually puts them underneath the griddle to bake and I guess that makes it extra crispy and we have ordered the kind with an egg inside. You can see it's almost like a little egg hamburger and man, that feels really, really crispy and oily. So let's try this. Mmm. Mmm. Really, really hot. Quite oily too, but that is ridiculously crunchy. It's almost like a cracker on the outside and a faint flavor of the scallions and that egg inside is nice and soft still. Definitely not overcooked. Oh man, I can't believe how crispy that is. Extremely crunchy. Mm. Okay, this is really, really good. And this stall is extremely popular. Super cool, you can see him preparing everything here. I was actually wrong, there's no beef inside of this one, just an egg and some scallions. But man, it's almost like a cracker egg sandwich. It's ridiculously crunchy and quite oily too, but good for breakfast. Okay, our next snack today, we are having another street side snack and this is potentially the most famous of all in Shanghai. We have the famous Shanghai pot stickers and dumplings, the Shenzhen Bao. So check those out, they are topped with some black sesame seeds, a little bit of green onions, and then we've got the pot sticker variety as well right here. And we have punctured these already to let them cool down because they looked extremely hot. So you can see super golden crispy on the bottom and just dripping with juice. So he pours down quite a bit of oil and then he'll top it with some water to let the steam away too. So let's try these. I think these ones are just filled with pork. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's really, really juicy. Mm. Quite salty too. And the bottom is extremely crisp, like almost like that chong yo bing we had earlier but then the top is still nice and soft. Nice little dumpling wrapper. And let's try one of these Shenzhen Bao. I think these are also just filled with the uh, pork. And these ones are a different shape though. 
Mm. I just had to kind of drink the soup there because I was really hot. <laughs> mm. Oh, also very, very good. Very similar flavor. I'd say the wrapper on this one is more fluffy and dense than the pot sticker variety, but also very, very good. These are awesome. This spot is really, really popular. <laughs> <laughs> okay, definitely a Shanghainese specialty. The iconic pot stickers and bao. Those were awesome. Super, super juicy. Make sure you are careful when you're eating them so you don't burn yourself. Let's keep going and find some more food. So with the modernization of Shanghai and China, there are fewer and fewer of these authentic places to come shopping. But we have come with Lost Plate Food Tours to a really cool fresh market where they're selling all kinds of seafood, all kinds of vegetables. It's a really vibrant, colorful, beautiful place and lots of really good looking ingredients. <laughs> At our next spot and we have a Xiaobing which is this baked bun topped with a bunch of sesame seeds and we have got the sweet kind. So this should be filled with a lot of kind of melted sugar. So I'm actually just gonna tear into this and show you guys inside. Oh yeah, you can see some gooey sugar on the insides there. Let's just take a big bite, try it. Mm. Mm. It almost tastes like a bagel on the outside with a really strong sesame seed flavor. And then sweet on the inside. Very, very sweet, lots of sugar. And it's kind of caramelized inside. Mm. That's good. Okay, we are doing a ton of eating today and we have ordered up another really popular snack. This is the famous Shandong Jianbing and you can see her making them right behind me here. So first she uses a corn flour that she flattens in this circular griddle and then she tops it with all kinds of delicious ingredients. First she kind of cracks an egg on there and breaks that up and then she'll put some pickles, some cilantro, some green onions and then tops it with this really uh, popular uh, bean paste and then a little bit of chilies and then she puts this really interesting deep fried rice cake kind of cracker in the middle so you can see it right inside there and actually this is such a popular dish but I've never had this before so this is gonna be my first time and I've been advised to try from the bottom where all the, the sauce is so let's try it down here mm. oh. oh that's really good a little bit spicy. The corn flour wrapper, it's almost like a tortilla. It's really soft and kind of got an elasticity to it. But then there's a nice crunch in the middle from that cracker. Some cilantro flavor in there. And then that bean, it's almost like a little bit sweet, that bean paste. Oh, that's really, really good. I might just fold this in half and take one more bite from the middle. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. Super satisfying. All right, this is the perfect little breakfast snack and we have been doing a lot of snacking today. This one might be one of my favorites and you can get all kinds of different things too. We saw some people actually ordering like a Chinese sausage, a little hot dog on top of it. So this is really good. Make sure you try this if you're ever in Shanghai or anywhere in China really. So let's keep going. I think we've got uh, something else to show you today. Mm -hmm. 
So we come to a very interesting shop with lots of really unique ingredients lining the sides of the shop and we're gonna try a liquor that has been, um, I guess you could say, like steeped with some ingredients, this being one of them. Um, let me know in the comment section if you know exactly what this is. It looks like some sort of a flying lizard. You can see his head there and this is dried and kind of flattened and then over here we've got a snake coiled up and this is apparently also in the wine that we will be trying. So can't say I've ever had this before, should be interesting. Here we have our wine, this is a pure rice wine and I can smell it already, it smells really really strong and the man kind of got up on a stool and <laughs> poured some from this really interesting looking jar that is filled with those ingredients. We just showed you the, the lizard and the snake and also some ginseng and it's got this really like brown, clear uh, color to it. So let's, I'm just gonna take all of this I think. Oh man, it smells really, really strong. Oh, it's actually not as strong as I thought. It's sweet. I almost dropped the cup though. But, wow, it's really kind of earthy, I guess you could say. Sweet, I think there must be some sugar in there and I can definitely taste some ginseng, almost like a uh, ginger flavor. It's actually not as bad as I thought. I don't know if I can taste snake or lizard, but to be honest, I don't know what lizard and snake taste like, but that's pretty good actually, it's surprisingly good. Sabrina's turn to try? Yeah, I'm gonna go and try it, it smells really interesting. I don't know what that has. It's a very unique smell. I've never smelled it before. I get it. Drink all of it. <laughs> oh my Finish god. Finish it off. Oh, I don't know if I can. Oh. What do you think? <laughs> it definitely has an earthy flavor to it. Almost like a pine tree. Mm. You think? A little bit bitter almost. Oh, <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> okay, we had a beautiful day of eating and snacking here in Shanghai. This was such a cool district that we are in and we had a great time. I totally recommend Lost Plate Food Tours. Make sure you check them out. Their website is in our description box below. They've got tours all over China in Xi'an, Beijing, Chengdu, and Shanghai. So you can book your tour with the link below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me any questions you have in the comment box and subscribe for more videos like this. We are still in China for a long time, so a lot more videos coming. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.